Hey there, Verbal Violence audience. Uh, this is Coach T. Uh, we are doing a part two here for the lovely Bree Pruitt. She has so much good stuff. Things got a little serious. And I wanted to make sure that we had an opportunity to share that with you guys. Also, we are celebrating 100 episodes. So if you've heard 100 episodes or any episodes, we appreciate you for that. Uh, we have no big gifts other than... We have visuals of the podcast now available on YouTube. So please go to YouTube, search for Verbal Violence, and then uh, you can enjoy them that way as well, too. Thank you guys for all of your support. Oh, the energy is kind of weird in here. Everybody, when you see those titties jumping, you know what to do. Roast battle. Come on. Battle. 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 Hey. Hey. Louder. Louder. Ah. Yeah. Yes. It's the last Tuesday of White Guilt Month. You know, you guys have seen me do stand up, I think. Yeah, both yeah, I mean, yeah. We yeah. were both like, wow, dude, that chick's a fucking professional. Oh, that's really yeah, nice. We but were like, yeah, you, you command the room. That's really nice. But but it, I'm not like, ah, men, you know, like, I'm, I'm try, I try not to. I try to have all my messages be sneaky so, and like well, so backdoory, you know. Without without the material, what's, what's the message? How do we need, it sounds like something needs to improve. Uh, <laughs> or or Here we go. Okay. No, no, I think everything's great. Um, what needs to improve? Well, like I talk about beauty standards quite a bit, right? That's okay. like that's like part of uh, patriarchy, you know, the way. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to counter that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I like I like a larger person. So keep going. Uh, oh, what I'm oh, saying, oh. I'm saying, I'm looking well, for what, counters. What we were just ta- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, what we were just talking about is yeah. how how uh, women are not valued f- for their hangability, right? Okay. So that to me is part of patriarchy. That happened not okay. on accident, right? Okay. That, that happens because men were taught to talk about women in a certain way and that right. brought attention to certain values. Okay. okay. Boring. Okay. So um, so what do I talk about? I, I My beliefs are... Uh, now what do you talk about? Like, what do you want to see... Improved, change? Impacted, yeah. What, yeah, what, what, I just want everybody to love them themselves, love their, love their bodies, and, uh, you know, try to reject some of these systems of... Uh, what's a, what's a bad system? The library system? Dewey Decimal System? Yeah, Dewey Decimal System is trash. <laughs> like, let's just... Let's colors. Use colors. What's a, you know, the reason why I say that is because I'm probably going to counter you just because it's a good podcast, mm-hmm. but there's an opportunity for you to get it out, you know, and not the material, so people could be like, yeah, I see well, it that I, way. Yeah, I'd prefer women not to be objectified. That would be great. You got oh. a counter for that? Okay. So, <laughs> <a> je- <laughs> shoot. I want to try. I'm going to try. That's a shoot right there. But coach. like, but like, the thing is, I, I'm on stage talking. Like that's that counters objectification on its okay. own because I'm not an object. I'm a person with a voice and a story. So if you connect to my story, I'm already fighting the patriarchy. I got you. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to destroy any like man. I think that push like girl push ups should be called. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, changed yeah. push-ups. Like I don't. There are the, these are all symptoms. I got you. Know? you. So, so what do you mean? I wonder what the matriarchy would be though. Like, what would it, what would it have been like if you guys like wrote, wrote the Bible, you know, or are always in power? Shit, dude. It's right? such an amazing thing to think Would there about. still be racism? Everything would be a lot more inclusive, I think. There would for sure still be racism. <laughs> <laughs> for sure yeah. still be racism. But I think the system. Do you think it would be a lot more inclusive? I think a lot of things would be a lot yeah. more inclusive. Because everything, every season of the Bad Girls Club on Oxygen looks so <laughs> harmonious. <Get 'em. laughs> yeah. Who do you think is producing that shit, bud? Oh. Who do you think is behind the camera? A woman? A bunch of women? You think so? I don't know. That's the no bad idea. girls. They're producing. They're mean bad girls. You <laughs> should not be um, producing. <laughs> what would be the ten, like, what would be the, ten, the, all right, so if instead of, if it's not Moses, it's, you know, whatever her name Moselle. is. Moselle. Yeah, and she's got the Ten Commandments. What are okay. the, what are the, the lady Ten Commandments? Moesha. Yeah, Mo- oh, Moesha. Oh, wow. Moesha. It's Brandy. She's yeah. got the two things. Okay. And she's okay. like, set, yeah, set thou this. shalt not kill, for sure. That's still, okay. that's still in there. Mm-hmm. Thou shalt not kill is for sure okay. in there. Um, thou shalt. Um, 
talk it out if you have a problem. Yeah, thou shalt listen. <laughs> oh, that's that, oh, that's a good one. Thou I, shalt not talk when you don't know shit about something. Thou shalt take a seat because this isn't about you right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> these, these, these some Moesha Ten Commandments. Yeah, that was getting a little emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, the, she's getting going. Yeah, are, these, are, these are societal right now. These are specific. By the time you get to the 10th, it's just going to be snapping. in a yeah. <laughs> Clap. <laughs> Thou shalt mind your business. Last battle of the night. Last battle of the night. Last battle. This one's fun. This is five jokes. This is a main event. You guys get to take a sabbatical. They get to judge the whole thing. Let's have some fun. First guy I'm bringing to the stage. First lady, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Finally, a real fucking battler in the room. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, this lady was just institutionalized in Orange County. Please make it loud for April Lasha. Crazy. I'm Recently crazy institutionalized, I'm sorry. Demons. Just got out. Crazy. Yes. I'm crazy for feeling. Crazy. Yes. I'm crazy. Girl interrupted. For mm -hmm. Girl interrupted. Uh, how was uh, how was the loony bin? Was the loony bin? Uh, it was terrible. Okay. Mainly. <laughs> it was awful. They send you there and they don't help you at all. Really? Yes. Your hair looks great. Thank you. <laughs> You're battling Joe Urell. Why are you battling Joe? Uh, Joe challenged me. And... Joe's already challenged. Well. <laughs> but why are you battling I'll be it. I'll be it. Uh, he's a beast. He's uh, a fucking monster. Yeah. Joe is an amazing joke writer. I'm excited. It's dope. This will be fun, man. Welcome back, by the way. So good to have you back. Thank you. It's good yeah. to be back. It's good to be back. We'll get to you, Sonny Prince. <laughs> And from Huntington Beach, California, this guy's a bad motherfucker. He's already got fans in the room. Please make it loud for the Crip. Jump around. Show your ass. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Jump, 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 jump. Roll around. Jump around. Coach, you're going to hell. <laughs> Definitely. You can't wait. Joe, why are you battling April? Uh, I just I just wanted to battle somebody who uh, you know what's more pathetic than me. That's <laughs> not very nice, Joe. <laughs> Jesus. You shouldn't be laughing at that. Uh, <laughs> Saudi Prince, what do you think about these two main event battlers? You know, I didn't realize that was a real person at first. I thought that was uh, one of Jim Henson's guy smiley puppets. Uh, I, I apologize, but I will commend you on having the cleanest shoes in the room. Um, Thank you. That's all what's up, yeah, yeah. They match the outfit too. This look good, dude. They really do. I. I, I'm excited to see how good the uh, little boy from American Horror Story does against him. So let's see. <laughs> what's what season? All right. <laughs> season one. That's as far as we've got in my country. <laughs> we don't have the Netflix yet. <laughs> the Netflix. All right. <laughs> Fire Squad, what do you got? I think this battle is going to be fire, not just because April looks like she starts them with her mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as a as a nerd, I just love any time I get to see April hanging out with a mutant. So this will be hey! really fun. Cowabunga, dudes. Uh, you're both fucking great. I think this is going to be fucking awesome, and this crowd seems energized again. Yeah! They're back! Yeah! We're back. Binge, who do you like? 
Talk about their shoes or whatever. I don't, I don't know. There's so much going on here. You know, there's... I feel like both these people have their things to deal with. <laughs> And um, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how it all unfolds. Remember, whoever wins tonight gets to lead the X Men. <laughs> you don't even want it. You don't even want it. All right, it's one round. It's five jokes. Who wants to go first? You're a gentleman. Everybody, please. April Lacha, Joe Urell. Let's fucking make some noise. Some noise. Noise! Noise! Let's roast! Joe's arms look like the coat hangers he had to fight back. <laughs> Speaking of that, April has a tattoo of the solar system on her back. It's the closest she'll ever come to having the real sun. <laughs> Joe's voice sounds like he's been dying of a gunshot wound since birth. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting because, you know, April and I have both dealt with suicidal thoughts, but the difference is she has more ability and a reason. <laughs> both institutionalized. I was locked in a building, but Joe was put on cinder blocks. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, April used to wait tables. Their face still looks like they used it to scrub the dishes. <laughs> Joe uses a straw to eat pussy. Disabled because he's Irish. Oh. Speaking of that, <laughs> speaking of that, uh, you know I'm in a wheelchair, but uh, April the April the UI makes her the one that has to blow into a tube before she can roll anywhere. <laughs> Show you around. Well done. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. 
Oh, bars everywhere. Not just on his wheels. Uh, who'd you like in this society, Prince? You know, this was a very nice uh, community college reenactment of a deleted scene from E.T. Um, Let that I, sink in a little bit. I, I have to disagree with the, uh, with the uh, Justin Bieber with the botched uh, plastic surgery and uh, say that his voice uh, sounds like his batteries are low and perhaps we should just replace them. Um, I don't... That's not Stephen Hawking. I, no, I, I feel I like... I ran out of oil, can you sell me some? <laughs> I'd be happy to wring it out of your hair for a minute. Um, uh, I, I feel like overall, if I had to vote, I would, uh, I would give it to Andy Garcia's leftover chromosomes on the left. Oh, big Andy Garcia crowd, okay. <laughs> Never seen that before. Or Tank from the Matrix, whichever one's more current. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what was more twisted, April's thoughts or Joe's hands. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, Joe's, Joe's coming. I thought, uh, no, I thought it was fucking awesome. Um, it definitely did run out at the end, uh, recharge the batteries. Um, I would give it to Joe, yeah. But uh, April, you were good too. All right, that's one for Joe. Who are you liking this one, Ben? Um, I thought you guys. I don't throw this word around lightly. I think. For totally separate reasons, you guys are both really brave for doing what you just did. It's already really terrifying. I mean it. And because uh, the position you're both putting yourselves into d doing this is just, it's just tough. So um, I, I commend you both. What yeah. happened to you? You were so judgy and mean, and now you're like... And, and like it took three guys to put him in that position. <laughs> also. Um, I did mushrooms last night, and I'm just emotional. And it's not all out of my system yet. And now I'm not. Nice. Um, but I think I'd have to give it to Joe just because you had like some more uh, diversity in the types of jokes you were telling and uh, in terms of the, the areas. So give it to Joe. But I thought you did great also. And obviously you got a great response and stuff. <laughs> this is hard for me because I feel like April had a better entrance. She walked up there. Uh, <laughs> that got weird. <laughs> That's fine, by the way. That's great. April, how many times have you battled? Uh, this is, I think it's five. What's your record so far? 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Who beat you? Anna. It's my first battle. There you go. Yeah, great battle. Well, this was such a funny battle. You know what? The battles were kind of okay tonight, but I thought this one was worth the wait. And Joe... <laughs> Joe, I don't know. I feel like you stumbled on your last couple of jokes. And, you know, what I do love is your refrain, you know, speaking of that. That was pretty fucking funny. Do you... I, and I... I and for me, April's joke about eating pussy through a straw is the funniest joke I've heard about Joe in a long time. And... I think Jamar has a good point. It's the last battle of the night. It's fucking done. If we went one more joke, I think that would decide it. One more. Roast Mastery overrules everybody. All right. Uh, you went first last time, so Joe, you're up first this time. Are we ready? Yeah. Let's roast! Yeah. <laughs> April has the sex in a city podcast. And even though it's season Miranda, her forehead is a Mr. Big. Joe's a star. His entire body is pointy, and Hollywood will crush him into the pavement. <laughs> I mean, she did win a regulation, but you did overrule this, so. What's that? It's not to me. It's up to it's up to Roastmaster here. What what did she break? Well, she uh, these two voted for April. Right? No, I oh, voted for Joe. Joe. My bad. Sorry about that. I mean, yeah, it's still in a row. 
So, I don't understand. Are we going to vote again? or No, no, no. I, I think we just figured out who won. I, I mean... I mean, if, if it was based on that last round, I think April had a great joke, but I think Joe took that one. So. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, winner again. Show your round! Give him a hug! Uh, one more time, everybody. April Lasha. Show your L. Saudi Prince, Coach T, Speed Week, Jay Light, Jeffrey Ross, My Old Nigga Wayne, Benji Apollo, Mike Lawrence. Thank you guys. Look, I, I really hate to do this, but my wife has gotten out of her cage. If anybody sees a beekeeper running down Sunset, please, please send her back to me. She has a leash. Yeah, I don't know. I'm on a campaign yeah. to get everyone to stop yeah. listening to people. Oh, well, yeah. I want to say, not we're listening. Great, great right right <laughs> not listening. Not listening. Allowing people access to your emotional state. I, I think that's not healthy. I, you know, I just think it's human. I think it's unhealthy. I'm okay with so it. So is crack, but it doesn't... Crack all that shit. Human. How yeah, do you, can you teach me how to do that? I would actually... Could you coach me in how to protect my <laughs> emotions? Um, I'm doing okay. True. I think... I th- coach is pretty good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my whole thing. Um, I stopped accepting feedback from male co- comedians, so that's you. helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, straight <laughs> up. But, I, but I think no, seriously. I think shouldn't. I think feedback is important. I'm just saying access to your emotional state, like that, is crazy. Because yeah. where our emotions are is where our motivation is. And if somebody allows us to feel less than, then we create as if we're less than. But it's like we always need to not never limit ourselves. But the feedback is important. Like I download Latino songs just because I bomb in Latino places. I'm like, oh shit, I better know this. But I, I wasn't like, I'm a shitty DJ because I didn't get Raul to dance. No, bro, Raul, that's on you. You had the wrong DJ. <laughs> but at the same time, the next time I run across Raul, I'm gonna kill him. But it's like, so I'm always growing, but I'm never in a place where it's like, oh, I'm a terrible DJ. I should just never do it again. And so I'm like, we've got to find that balance of listening, but not letting them limit us because I think we kill ourselves. But and we're getting I don't, I don't know, again. man. I'll be honest. That's you're talking about DJing compared to fucking public speaking. <laughs> it's just, but, can't get behind it. But it isn't just DJing. It's the, like the the you know what's you know what's crazier than even entertainment mm-hmm. is coaching crazy parents because right. that's their kid, yeah. like Levar Balls. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you're going to like deal with a LeVar ball? Yes. Of course. Worse, right? Yeah. And then and then people are, and everyone just focuses on the parent and focuses on the parent. They're like, yo, what's your coaching philosophy with crazy parents? Yeah. It's just pretty simple. I just ignore them and love their kid. Because when the kid is emotionally and spiritually fulfilled, the parent sees that, then the parent is doing whatever the fuck I want to do. But if I focus on the parent and I neglect the kid, yeah. all three of us hate each other. What's so that, the worst shit that a parent has said to you? I got I got to know that. People say crazy shit. I just keep it pushing. The only time it really affected me was that game. I said I had a pretty mouth and then, I, and then I had to focus up That really shook me I Coach wasn't, I wasn't ready for that a compliment No I needed to, I needed to get over I needed to get over Why don't you love your mouth coach they, Oh that's the question Wait Not why did this guy Say you had a pretty Alright so what happened He was drunk I had to do security I was a wrestling Where was this It was in San Francisco oh, Okay well, That coach. sounds like jackass shit Where they're like Hey I'm gonna say something gay to you No 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 Oh it was a gay dude He wanted to fuck me Okay um, We had to do security Meaning it was for a Greek fest It was like whatever German something It was a bunch of beers Everyone got sloshed <laughs> Those are two di- very different whites They are? <laughs> yeah I don't divide my whites So So And then he was drunk And his friends were trying to get him out of there and I was working security he said sir you gotta you know you gotta keep going it was a security for my wrestling team which was like a fundraiser and he's like dude I don't wanna go he was like hey you you right there you got a you got a pretty fucking mouth and I was oh, like shit that's and hot I, and then I looked at the <laughs> get it yeah it's a problem then I looked at the guy like his friend is he a big dude oh he was tall he's one of them fucking Nordic motherfuckers <laughs> And so, Damn, Greek, German, Nordic. Like, we're really narrowing <laughs> yeah, it down. Sorry, ladies. It's ninety percent of the world. It's just white. It's just white. Yeah. yeah. And then Big I looked. White. I looked at his friend, and I looked at his friend with this fucking eye, like get him the fuck out. I didn't know if I even said anything, and his friend snapped, like, "Yo, this guy's gonna kill you." Oh, no. And his friend just dragged him out of there. I like how somebody could call you the N word, and you're like, "It doesn't affect me. Why would it affect me?" And, then, and then a gay guy gives you a compliment. Yeah. Thank you, by the you way. Short circuit. Well, see, well, see, I needed to work on that. 
<laughs> like, <laughs> I'm dead serious. That, is, that yeah. wasn't a good. I'm not defending that. I'm right, saying right, right. I needed to work on that. Yeah, I was yeah. fucking 19. I didn't yeah. like being there. I cut weight all the fucking time. Oh. I needed to. Go. I needed to let people fucking be sexualize me and realize it doesn't even fucking matter. Okay, there it is. <laughs> call back, call back. Damn. Okay, full circle. That's what we call a pin. That's pin what it wrestling. is. That's a pin right there. That was nice. Your first main event is a lot of fun. Uh, this lady coming to the stage from Denver, Colorado. She's a fucking monster. And that's not physically. I mean, in this fucking arena, she's a monster. Please make love for Heather Maruli. Oh, bitch, nigga, fuck you. No, fuck you, bitch. Why you acting like a bitch? Where is she? Taking her time. There she is. Whoa! Look at her. Yeah. Everybody! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why you acting like a bitch? Oh, yeah. Who's that? Who's that? No, 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 no. Who? No. Oh, my. Who? <laughs> no. There's no way that's happening. Oh, Joe's, Joe's in a wheelchair. She just had a funeral? <laughs> All right. Everybody, this is Heather Maruli. Say hi. Heather, all black tonight. Yeah. Why are you battling Dan Nolan? Uh, well, my therapist said that I need to stop fucking addicts, but I feel like I can just fuck one verbally instead. I dig that. <laughs> all right, this guy is a, an ex-junkie. He's one of our favorites. Uh, he's been all across the country. He's homeless. He's disgusting. Make it up for Garrett, Dan Nolan. Garrett Chase. Dance with Mary Jane. One more time to kill the fame. It's like working at a gas station. Dan's not homeless. Yeah, I live with Frank. Is that Kurt Braunholer? <laughs> I live in Frank's living room. All right, good banter, you two. Uh, <laughs> could you put you your hat up any higher? You're battling Heather. Why are you battling Heather here? Sorry, good job. What? Oh, well. Uh, Heather's ex-boyfriend actually died of a drug overdose, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show that I'm better than both of them. <laughs> that that deserves a lot more, actually. That does, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, Byron Squad, who don't you like in this? I, I'm. You know what? I think uh, I like Dan's confidence. I've seen him before. I I just added you today yeah, on Twitter, that, but you, you weren't I'm gonna, following I'm me follow you back. anyway. So, but uh, I kind of respect that. When I saw that Dan, when I saw that Dan wasn't following me, I go, I gotta. Uh, he's gonna do a good job. So I think Dan has a chance to crush. All right. Thank you, Dan's well. father. Go ahead, Moshe. Who do you like? You know what? I need friendship. Um, I'm, I'm voting for like the, the goth slut that was uh, uh, charged to protect the Stark girls. And that's what I'm excited. <laughs> the Stark girls. The goth slut. That's a good one. That's a good that's one. A, Sydney, who do you like in this? Uh, off looks, it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. So, uh, let's just go for the jokes. <laughs> All right, you two. It's one round of five jokes. Who's going first? Uh, okay. Ooh, you're a gentleman. All right, everybody. Heather, Daniel, are we ready? Yeah. When I ask, you have to be louder than that. I think everybody on stage is over yeah. six foot five. There he is. <laughs> Champ Master. Let's do it. Like he would have to catch his breath while raping you. Uh, yo! Okay. I can see that happening. Okay. All right, all right. Settle down. All right. Heather was in an abusive relationship with a guy, and she stayed in it for years because he kept saying he was going to give her a knuckle sandwich. movies are the ones he watches through holes he drills in motel room walls. All right. I'd actually like to take a second to compliment Heather on her stand-up, but I can't because it is not good. 
That's a, that was a haiku. It's actually pretty good. It's a uh, <laughs> Uh, Dan has tried to have sex with me so many times I can't count. And neither can he because he's fucking retarded. Aggressive. All right, look, I'm not going to lie. I have tried to bang Heather before. I don't care. I'll fuck anything that moves. (laughs) Oh, my God. a Chick-fil-A joke. Damn, Dan's gonna be living in my bedroom after that. Oh my god, that was a salsa ad. <laughs> wow. Everyone stay calm. You know, Shh, settle, <laughs> settle. It's true because Dan looks like he wants to make America rape again. We, we've all been there. Look, Heather's actually a pretty good comic if you need somebody to open. A jar of pickles. (laughs) Hillary Clinton on Jimmy Kimmel. (laughs) Dan keeps a list of women he sleeps with. Sounds stupid, but in AA, you're supposed to keep a list of people you need to apologize to. Heather makes all the guys she fucks wear flavored condoms. They're ribs for her pleasure. I like it. <laughs> that was outstanding. Yeah. Heather Maroon, Dan Nolan. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Wow, Dan. I'm going to stay right here. That way you don't attack Dan for all the hateful Yo. and mean things he said to you. God you know what's damn. crazy? No, this was a great fucking battle, though. This is amazing. That was a good battle. Good, really good one. Really like what we saw. It's a great fucking battle. I mean, catch his breath while raping. I thought that was the greatest joke I'd ever heard. And then I heard all of Dan's jokes. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, oh, that's just mean. Fuck. Yeah, she would have beat anybody tonight but Dan. Right, exactly. Like, you were fucking awesome, but he, he, yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Those some, yeah, those are some top shelf facts. That was jokes. amazing. Damn it. I mean, it's like, Dan, I fucking love you so much. Absolutely. And, like, Heather, it's like, fuck, man, we all know you love ribs, so that's fucking... It's <laughs> <laughs> a great joke. I, I thought... Uh... I thought, I thought, I thought Heather did a good job hanging in there. I thought Dan was relentless. He was precision. It was like watching Jeffrey Dahmer do his thing. Stay with me, guys. Nobody's ever said that. Jeffrey Dahmer do his thing. But I did feel, I did feel maybe you could have, you know, without maybe if you did one more person, I might have lost the audience, but it was right there. Then that last one at the end, uh, it was it was good. Very impressed. I'm glad I started following you today. Thanks, I think that rounded down. Thank you. It's good professional... Judging right there. Father son finally meeting on Twitter. Uh, Go ahead, Moshe. Uh, yeah, I thought you. I thought you won. I thought it was. A, it was decisive. It was both of you were very funny. But you, you won. I hope you win the battle with paying your rent next month, Dan. <laughs> good luck. Good luck to you. We're good, Red Ring. No, no, we're good. We're good. We're, we're good. good. All right. Seventy five bucks. <laughs> Go ahead, Sid. Yo, she was funny, man. Like she was really funny. But he just, he just, he just. He just he, yeah, he won. <laughs> Michelle, you did, I mean, I was going to say, Michelle Collins, you did great. She's a comedian. Heather, you did great. I teach an acting class out in the San Fernando Valley. It's a two-webcam shoot. I'm looking to diversify. And uh, thank you very much. Let's keep this thing going, guys. Push. All right, all right. Your winner, Dan Nolan! Yes! The white guy won. Get over it. Get over it. You let the white guy be a white girl. Oh, You're anti Semites. I can't wait to hear them have sex in my living room. This Dan, is good amazing. That's just, that's just so weird. There's some things that are so negative that I don't even think we should even give them attention because it's so obvious. Like Nazis, rape. 
<laughs> Harvey. Like, Harvey's so bad, there's nothing to talk about. Like, I, that's... T- what the fuck? No way, dude. I don't want to talk about it. You like, you like you some Harvey? No, I liked hearing all the stories because it made me feel... Like, I'm a rape survivor for sure. And What? Oh, yeah. I feel like everyone we bring on... Everybody. Is, what that happened? Nuts, Everybody. man. How was, that a, how was that such a common thing? I that's was, I was so being raped frustrating. And then I was, like, assaulted on some Tinder dates, on two Tinder dates. Um, but, uh, so like it happens to so many people that when Lupita came out with her story, when, um, oh man, who's the most recent one? Um, Kill Bill, um, uh, Uma, Uma, Uma had her story about Harvey and, um, Tarantino, like yeah. kind of ganging up on her, man. It made me feel like, oh man, all these beautiful, amazing, strong women, you know, have been through this. I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I, it's comforting. It was very comforting to hear all the women coming forward about Harvey because it confirms, it confirms, you know, and, um, and I'm glad, you know, it's part of the, I'm glad it's part of the conversation. I understand how that would be, uh, boring. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. How Harvey <laughs> would, hold on, how Harvey would be boring? <laughs> no, I, 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 you said you didn't want it to be co- part of the conversation because no, it's so commonplace. We, because. So obviously wrong. Because, because that part of the conversation where you feel comfortable and then you come out is like, all right, good. But somebody then takes the movement to the next level. And then I always don't think. I think you. I think what you went through and how you connected to these stories gets exploited. It exploited for political gain. Mm, then and then I'm like, damn. Sure. So now we're using some shit that's real and really affected you. And now some people have a, a, yeah. a jaded agenda. I, I guess so, but like I don't know. It's still good. Like it's yeah. Still I was gonna say yeah. It, it's almost like it, it can't be bad. I mean, cause she she's got a story. There, there's a Halsey had a thing. You know, during like the, one of the marches. So it's like like those stories are coming out more. You know, and people are relating yeah. to them, and it's and, only gonna it's only gonna drive and, and be better for and, legislation. And even like the nuanced stories, like the Aziz story, where it's right. like, oh, I can say this offensive joke that I've never been able to say anywhere else. Where were we? Welcome to it. The Aziz, the Aziz story was really hard on me as a woman who loves it when men put their fingers in my mouth. So <laughs> really, <laughs> that's just I mean, gross coach. to me. <laughs> <laughs> When we're all I'm kind clean, of a germaphobe. You know? That's a BBW joke. When we're all that's clean, a, you know, that's, a, that's a that's a oh, okay. Yeah. okay, okay, okay. Um, right. so uh, you know, I, I think uh, you know, women know how to hear those stories, those n- stories with nu- nuance, because we hear mm-hmm. them from our moms and our, you know, my mom, her fucking art teacher kissed her when she was in high school. Like this shit what? happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she, is she sure that wasn't her husband? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, so this shit happens all the time, you know? And so like, high we know how to hear that shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like all of y'all's moms were fucked with in high school for sure. Um, no disrespect to y'all's moms, but you know, these things happen. My mom's only had sex twice. <laughs> she has two children. So I think you need to just back up. Well, you see, you see now, so like hearing you say that, mm-hmm. Um, I try not to act with emotion, but it's hard not to have an emotional response. And so that's why you'll hear me on a podcast. I get very, very emotionally adamant about why are we not getting these people in trouble? Because I don't know how to fight it. Like, I know how to make people feel better when they hear the story. And that's great. And I'll hold you. But I'm like, they should be in trouble immediately. Mm-hmm. Like, like the first Harvey story should have got him in trouble. Yeah. And I'm just like, we've got to get to a place where you can just get a motherfucker in trouble. And it's not that big a deal. But it doesn't start until, until I don't want to say the victim, but let's say the survivors start f- understanding that they can do that. And when they start doing that, they yeah. start making that process more comfortable. So just so you know, yeah. I, I was I was raped in college and I and I told Jesus. people at my college, you know, yeah, you guys, it's fine. Um, no, it's no, not. it's not fine. <laughs> what? Like just all your outrage is like not necessary. You know what I mean? No, like, it's, no it's super. <laughs> it's appalling, man. <laughs> because <laughs> well, I don't know any like I, I I've never met a, no no friends of mine are rapists. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's just it's they boring. probably are. There you go. Um, right. So Jeez, that's dude. the important yeah, part. You guys know. should talk about this. I always ask my like if yeah. someone I'm dating like, hey, have you ever been in a situation where consent was murky? Because like you gotta have these conversations. You know, consent is is hard. It's 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 people that's act true. like it's so easy. It's fucking hard and it's hard women internalize consent issues too you yeah. know i'm I, you know i anyway anyway I, i'm into some kinkier shit you know also okay. so like so like some of that you know like things that look like consensual forced sex and stuff like that like that's all part of that's all internalized into women too you know so okay. like pay attention to those things in culture so anyway uh I told I told people at my college what had happened and they were like, Okay, what's the guy's last name? And I was like, I don't know his last name and they were like, Well, we can't penalize this person, we don't know who they are and that was that. That was pretty oh, much it. That's what I got. Shit. So 
is a college going to respond differently in 2018? Yeah. But, you know, that taught me a lot about, you know, how to report things. Um, mm-hmm. Later, um, when I was, like, assaulted on uh, Dude I Met on Tinder, um, my best friend, who's a cop, uh, helped me file something against uh-huh. him. And so I figured that out because I had somebody in the system. But if I hadn't had anybody in the system, I for sure would not have, have reported that. So we teach... Is it that hard? That's what I'm saying. It's real, real hard. It's real, real hard. I'm ready for this. Are you ready for this? Battle! Right. Battle! Battle! Battling autism all night. Hey, this next guy coming to the stage. He battles a lot. He's very fun. Make a laugh for John Michael Bond. Oh my God! Howdy. The X Files. Right. Howdy. Okay. You scared the shit. Out of you. Um, you're battling Keith Carey. Yes. Why are you battling uh, Keith Carey? Uh, that we were hanging out in front of uh, the, the store one night after a roast battle, and I complimented him on losing weight because I could uh, I could tell that he had lost weight because he had a visible pivot point on his neck. Oh! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "Hey, we should do that on stage." So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're here. All right, let's let's, let's meet Keith. Uh, this guy's a bona fide bad motherfucker. Mean Boys podcast. He's been on every season of Roast Battle. Make a laugh for Keith Carey, everybody. He's the man. Yeah. Look at that chip pivot! Yeah. Look at left, right, you got all the directions. Nice. It's amazing. I forgot, I just saw Mike for the first time and I cannot deal with this. You look like Cool Ranch Liberace. <laughs> like, my, Mike looks like the god that Joe would pray to. <laughs> You mean Rue McClenahan from the Golden Girl? <laughs> <laughs> like out of work Falcor, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I always wanted to see Charlie Brown battle the Great Pumpkin, so this should be fun. <laughs> you have lost weight because, I have, of, because yeah. of this outfit. You look good. Um, yeah, you look like a My 600 Pound Life episode where we pretend we're proud of them at the end. <laughs> Joe! Joe! Drink it in. This is what my best looks like. <laughs> His goal weight is still someone else's cause of death. So like. <laughs> oh man. Damn. Battle. 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 Moses. Cause of death. Very shot by the special police. Special guest. Halloween in the house. Oh my God, Saudi Prince, you're here. Saudi Prince is in the house, Mother Mickey. There you yeah. are. Yeah, you're so in the house. What are you? Wait, wait. Who's your? You have a guest? No, don't talk to her. She's in training right now. Oh, okay. Training. Don't right. pet her. Don't talk to her. Wow. Good job. Good job. <laughs> no days off. It's no, Halloween. No, my friend. No, it's fuck. I just picked her up. We got back from Manhattan a minute ago. A minute. <laughs> okay. What? Oh man. I would have gotten here sooner, except for what the fuck is this Halloween shit you guys are doing, man? Yeah, it's, it's a whole, I, it's a gay holiday. I mean, it says a lot about a person who has to wear a costume and put on a wig and mustache and hide behind a disguise. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Saudi prince? Yeah, it says a lot about a person's character. I don't trust them. Oh, uh, you. But yeah. You're, I, ve- you're very meta. Um, I think Halloween was better, but that's just me. Ooh. You can't give Manhattan 12 hours of decency time. <laughs> Well, I mean, I would have, but I mean, it's not my fault that they couldn't handle it. Listen. <laughs> listen, I, it's his I, Manhattan Project. I don't want to speak too early, but she's a good one. I saw her smoking a camel out back, and in my culture, that means something different than yours. <laughs> oh, what? What does, I, you know what? Not going to go there. She's um, a keeper. She's a keeper. Sounds like one. All right, size up this battle. Oh, I, don't, I just got here, but it's nice to see a reunion of the fat kids from Stand By Me. <laughs> And uh, Sony <laughs> Prince, what keep you going. You're killing it. I've killed enough today. <laughs> oh, shit. You're lucky if it's my jokes that bomb. Fuck. Sony. Sony Prince, when you say your date's a keeper, is that at her own will or? Uh, no, no, no. I keep her on a short leash. Usually I, ch- I yank her chain, you know. I just tell jokes. I'm just yanking her chain, you know. Nothing. Saudi Prince nothing dad bad. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're. She's a bottom. That's what I appreciate. 
What does that mean? Okay. I know exactly what it means. <laughs> yeah. John, yeah. John, John have you ever roasted such a uh, tough opponent as Keith Carey? Uh, no, I don't he think I have. He actually looks pretty chewy to me. <laughs> yeah. It's mostly nougat inside. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Cream. It's no. cream. It's gonna be cream filled if I get to WeHo after this. <laughs> It's a great cum yeah. joke, everybody. It's a nasty cum. All right. Um. <laughs> they look like they're gonna fight over the last Rick and Morty Szechuan sauce. <laughs> yes! Yes, they do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is this show? <laughs> Jeff, you want to see? Greatest fucking show in town. That's why. Damn right. <laughs> I've I've been to Studs Theater. Fun, You're right. This all these roast battle champs up here too. Well, Jamar, you didn't you didn't dress up for Halloween? <laughs> you didn't dress up. <laughs> what are you dressed as? Jay? He's a lost boy, which oh. means he was in foster care as a, well, as a youth. He'll be dressed as a woman on TV in two years tops, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Faggot. <laughs> that just means I won. True. That does mean you win. It's five jokes, Jeff. Who do you want to see go first? Five jokes, one round? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. First of all, who wants to go first? That's always a good call. All right. If you don't care, then fuck it. You'll go first. All right. Are we ready? Come on. It's the last one. Battle. 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 Let's roast. Oh, man. Guys, Keith Carey has a face that only a mother could love, and she was still like, eh, I'd rather do heroin. <laughs> You're not wrong. She did it. <laughs> Is that why you tried to make sure you could never find a vein? Or <laughs> all right, all right, all right. John is such a pretentious creep. He watches child porn and then tells everybody the book was better. It's not terrible. Oh, thanks. That's fine. Thanks, John. I, I like that this is actually the driest I've ever seen you. You're usually... <laughs> no, Keith is the sweatiest fucking person I have ever seen in my entire life. He sweats constantly. And I, I like to call him a Cosby sweater. Because he's a rapist. All right, I fucked that up. Never mind. Oh, that's no, right. No, I forgot that's the guy who did oh, that. Oh, man, I totally did that. In the, it's, yeah, fuck. No, no, keep, 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 keep digging in the hole, man. No, no, I'm excited to read that to you later and be like, this is why I didn't win the battle. It's great. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. That's not going to be why. Yeah. <laughs> is this an NPR podcast? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what? The, yeah. He, all right. Spend less time talking shit and more time finding a hotter girl for this terrible bit. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. You wrangled up a four. Oh, Calm it down, Sonny Prince. They're Can all I tell a fucking joke? They're all tens under the burqa. <laughs> Oh, man. I'd, li I'd like to think she's a 9 and 11. <laughs> well, I guess I'll tell a joke. We've been waiting. John's, John's father is a pastor, so growing up, he spent a lot of time in churches and Popeyes and KFC, and Chick-fil-A, and I don't know, wherever else there's chicken. I fucked that up real bad. <laughs> it was a lovely tribute to my last joke. That's good. Keith is bisexual. He appeals to guys who are experimenting with their sexuality, because even when your ball's deep in his ass, you're in a total pussy. Woo! Speaking of pussies, John's wife is supporting him financially, so it must be rough to watch her reach into her purse, move your balls out of the way, and then give you lunch money. Not bad. Uh, when Keith was a child in high school, his mother believed that he was possessed, and she called a priest in to exercise the demons. That was the first and last time Keith got exercise. <laughs> Emily Rose. <laughs> what? <laughs> John did ballet 
in high school in the South. It's a lot like regular ballet, except the black swan had to swim in a different pond. <laughs> this show races. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Keith refers to what happened to him as a child as being kind of molested. On Facebook, he hashtagged Me Too ish. <laughs> Speaking of sexual assault, why not? <laughs> John Michael Bond was sexually assaulted by a lifeguard. It was a lot like Baywatch, except the only thing running in slow motion was the cum down his chin. <laughs> oh my God. Keep it going for the best battle we saw all night. That's Keith Carey. That's John Michael Bond. Wow. That, that was fun. I, I like that we both simultaneously fucked up the joke we liked the most. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Also, 9-11 still works, huh? <laughs> Never gets old, my friend. Never forget. <laughs> I, <laughs> shit. I didn't. What do I win? Anyway, uh, what did you think about this battle? Uh, this was a very nice special needs reenactment of Moneyball. Um, but uh, honestly, I... <laughs> I, I'm rich. And he'll deliver. All right. Yeah. I'm rich. I don't have to. Uh, hey, so uh, No, I, I really liked uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman against the loser of the Hunger Games. It was very nice, very fun to watch, but uh, I have to give it to Boy Meets World of Warcraft. That could be both of us. That could be uh, uh, I, I'm the one. Yeah. Still a toss up, it seems like. Who do you like, Fire Squad? Well, uh, I'm going to say right off the bat, I don't feel totally comfortable judging you guys up here because you both are tremendously good at what you do. Uh, having said that, uh, you're both great big fat people, and you're ugly. Um, I don't know, man. Mike, what do you got? I want to do like at a restaurant where I'm like, you order first and I'll decide. What do you got, man? Such I mean, I feel a woman bad joke. for you Keith. You too know. <laughs> I feel bad for Keith because like, you obviously worked hard. Yeah. <laughs> worked hard to lose weight, but you're still not like skinny enough to make fun of other fat people <laughs> like and that sucks and you're still fat enough that when people make fun of you for being fat it works do you uh, know what I'm <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> he did better than you tonight also insight um john michael looks like if fucking mike lawrence hosed himself down occasionally you fucking <laughs> <laughs> You got one. That's the third Mike Lawrence joke you've Take done. Take a shower, you, you fucking it. Greasy I'm gonna order. play. I'm gonna play Mike in the tragic TV movie of his life. It's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> it's happening all the time, by the way. <laughs> oh God. Um, oh. I would say yeah, John. John edged it out there. Mm. Yeah. And, and Thank I'm you, glad Keith. the Fuck other you. 71 virgins didn't have to be a part of Saudi's bit. Uh, <laughs> hey, she's before. not a virgin. <laughs> I'm pretty confident that scene is mom. <laughs> <laughs> chances are higher that it's your mom. <laughs> that's really, that's I, fucking, ooh, that's really. Now she's not it off by now. Well, I want, I want to. <laughs> I want to say this this show was really, really great. I really had a good time. You both guys did a really great job. Um, I, I want to give it to Keith just because John Michael Bond is going to stand out so much by being a chubby dude with a beard and comedy. And I mean, I've done really bad the last three times I did this. Yeah. So. I, I'm going to give it to John Michael by a hair. No hard feelings. Okay. Please. John Michael Bye. All right. And now for some insight, Frank Castillo. Oh, man. No, Josh. The king of, can I, can, the, the, well, the king of comedy from 5 to 7 p.m., everybody. <laughs> I, hey, I, I didn't work phones at that time. I just want to say, you there's no it. way when you were driving over here with that trophy, you didn't put a seatbelt on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my fiance dropped it off. <laughs> you couldn't be the king of comedy for five to seven minutes. Girl! Frank, you didn't, um, you didn't come here to get insulted. So thank you. Uh, you go to the improv for that. Hilarious. That was tough. You guys are both fucking amazing. I mean, you guys are the best. Uh, and Keith had a lot of really fucking good jokes. John Michael Bond had a lot of good jokes. You both kind of biffed it in the middle. I mean, you both had messed up on one joke, but I think Keith edged it out. I have to go with Keith. Okay. All right. Can I, I want to hear Doesn't the matter. joke, Keith. Emily up. Rose. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, well, what that, was the joke you didn't like mind. that John did? The John, the, no, I didn't like a joke. No, I John fucked did. up the, yeah, I did John, the John second one entirely wrong. Joke. Yeah, okay. Keith had probably one of the better jokes that I liked. Okay. Don't bite really the genius right hand now. that's feeding you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Ross, who wins this battle? It's all on you. Well, I wouldn't put the pressure on me, but Keith, you're like a, but you it is. this newfound, like there's something to your delivery now that comes with losing all that weight. How did you lose the weight? Were you... Inspire uh, me. Inspire us. The, the what diet? Keto. Keto? Yeah, don't worry, but why are we talking about this? <laughs> Your mother did the kilo diet. <laughs> you said you want a Cheeto diet. Baking soda. I got baking soda. Dodgers, Astros, fucking and game jo five. Jo Jesus. Jo Joe really packed it all in at the end, man. You are he really, yeah. <laughs> He is full of so much spite and hate. I mean, I mean, and John, I got to admit, you really, this was your best battle I've seen you do. You impressed a lot of people, including me tonight. I mean, if you guys are going to leave it up to me, I'm going to say let's do one more joke. Yeah! I like your attitude, Jeff Ross. All right. One more joke. One more joke. One more joke. You went first last time, so Keith, you're up. Are you ready? Yep. Are we ready? John Michael is an outspoken feminist and a social activist for women's rights. What I'm getting at is he definitely raped somebody. <laughs> let's see how this joke's going. Let's prove that. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Keith didn't realize that his mom smoked crack until she quit smoking crack. Yeah. His first clue is when she stopped offering to blow him for his lunch money before school. <laughs> I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have raped somebody. Awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's a fire L. You know it's going Michael Jackson appears. Holy shit. One time for the all nigga wave, everybody. Wow, overtime appearance. That was beautiful. Fire squad, who do we like in this? I think it was hands down, uh, John, you got that last joke in. How's that? But not, not not just a good joke, that was a great joke. Did you save that in case it was an extra joke or what was going yeah, on? I said that for uh, just in case there was an extra round. Just in case for <laughs> overtime. Well, I'm glad we it get it my overtime. my second favorite it... joke. I fucked up the one I liked the most. <laughs> I That's... Bad we get overtime. Yeah. <laughs> Stop uh, being Keith... so gracious, you fuck. Jesus. Keith, you're, you're great tonight. You have nothing to be ashamed about. But John, congratulations. Yo, and uh, John Michael Hug each other! Outstanding work. Happy Halloween, everybody. Thank you, Jeff Ross, Frank Castillo, Joe Dodge, Mike Lawrence, my Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. Saudi Prince, his guest, Obi Singh, Coach T. We'll see you next week. Hey, Coach, Coach, drop some Michael. But I said this though, right? Everyone was talking about Harvey, right? And then so I said, hey, why don't we take all this energy and create a legislation that lets you confront your rape victim closed circuit so that you don't have to be in the same room, mm. but you can still report. And everyone was like, mm, I just want to talk about my feelings. I'm like, oh, that is great. And the feelings are great. But if, if, you could re if you could go to trial and confront a camera versus being in the same room with the fucker winking at you and, and, and emotionally abusing you. It's a great idea. Yeah, but... Not all victims are going to behave the same way. Exactly. And, like, that's something uh -huh. that comes through a lot, and I'm glad it does. But, like, yeah. not all survivors are going to want to be active. Also, I, okay, here's the thing. Okay. This, this school that I went to, you know, they kind of... They kind of fucked me over. They didn't really help me at all. Yeah. Why would I want to help the school make their space safer? Fuck them, you know? Ooh. Like, so for real, you what? know? What? No, 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 no. That's no, a real no, feeling. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, that's a real feeling. I'm, I'm just reacting like, yeah, wow, yeah, 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 what? Yeah. Like, for real, though. Like, I, I mean, I Nobody happen to, for me. I happen to. Were you raped? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's hey, the mindset. Like, no I happen to me. believe that, yeah, it's our job yeah. to all evolve the planet, and I'm trying to evolve all spaces that I yeah, occupy, yeah, yeah. including my college, but. Yeah, a per that that 
I, to me, psychology follows where if somebody harmed them, no one's got their back. And and that, you know, that yeah. um, kind of logic happens a lot where women are, you know, ch- chided. Why didn't you tell anybody you could have saved so many more people? Nobody was fucking trying to protect me. So why, you know, yeah. um, I actually... Pff, I, I had a roommate in Portland who turned out to, we lived together for a year, and then he turned out to have raped um, another comedian. And that was crazy. really, it felt like a real betrayal. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, people, I feel like, sort of implicated me, you know, because I live with this person. Yeah. I was, like, co-signing on their character. And, um, and I had nothing to do with that, you know? And it was, and nobody warned me about this person. So... Yeah, see, it's it's kind of because we were talking about religious doctrine, right? And I subscribe to a particular doctrine, and within that doctrine, I consider myself to be a protector of females. I just that just has to happen. I'm not the only one who feels that way. Right. But I cannot use my ability to protect if I'm not informed. And so my frustration is like, give me a path to be more supportive. And and I and I, it's so hard. And I but I you have an army of of men who are willing to do that. Like, I ain't afraid of no Harvey. Like, you know what I mean? There's a, plenty of guys who would do that, but we literally don't have any marching orders. But but do, do you feel like the whole Harvey thing, maybe it's not being handled 100% correctly, but it's, if nothing else, it's informational, right? Like, you know way more about these types of behaviors. I did, I, I, did, I had no idea that things were going on to this degree. I So, if nothing else, it's been informational and educational, right? Uh, All right. Anything you want to plug, Bree? Um, I have a TED Talk. You can watch that on the, the internet. How do you um, get a TED Talk? You just get invited to do it. Oh shit! How did they find, How did they discover you? They, so TED TED Talk is now like this, like fr- like the moth, where any city can just do it if you pay a franchise fee. Ah. So like an organization that runs a free school in Portland knew about me and wanted me to do it. Oh, Dope. that's really cool. That's really cool. It's fine. You just have to be a big fish somewhere. <laughs> That's not fine. That's really cool. Don't Thank downplay you. It. You're a big fish in Portland? Huge. Are you really? Yeah. You're a big thing. I'm a big deal in Portland. Are you fucking real? Yeah, that's why I moved. She was out here balling, I man. Know she oh, got fuck. too big for the city. There's a there's a, a, a statue newspaper a newspaper article running about me this month. Word? Yeah, somebody was like calling me and fact checking. And I was like, I haven't lived there in a year. What could this be about? And they didn't know. But it was, thought that was really funny. That's good. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's great to know, actually. Yeah. We, ran, we, we ran out of Shane Torres stories. <laughs> so we need that. <laughs> that is yeah, it was Ian Carmel. And then Ian <laughs> left. And then it was Shane. And then it, and then it was Amy. And then it was me. Uh, wow. So, yeah. There's a bunch of up there, too, in Bronger. Bronger is from Portland. Yeah, yeah, our parents are friends. Oh, okay. yeah. My mom did. Matt Bronger's mom's hair. Uh, oh, yeah, Funches. So cool. Funches was from Salem, but kind of was made the scene happen. Okay. Uh, I have some shows um, in um, LA. I have a regular show called High Priestess at Dynasty Typewriter, okay. and that you can see the 25th of March and the 29th of April. What's the High Priestess? We're doing uh, High Priestess is a nod to the fact that we get high and that we also oh. are into tarot cards and witchy shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Are you really into that shit? I am, yeah. You should have talked more about your gods. Well, you know, like I'm saying, religion is just the language of the man, and you know, the tarot and shit's just the language of the woman. Mm. Love that. I would have wow. lo- I would have loved to hear more about that. Next time. So I guess we're all gonna have to go to this show, right? And this show's I'd regular. Love to have you. Yeah, and we have medicated soda. We're sponsored by a medicated soda company uh, that me and Pat were talking about. That. Uh, uh, they sponsored Riot LA Where I oh, saw Roast that, Battle For the first I had time I everybody And I was so high When I saw Roast Battle For the first time At Riot LA On the oh, sodas okay. It was a truly magical day That's a, that's what it was crazy yeah. <laughs> I had one of those sodas In my refrigerator For like a year or so Yeah, <laughs> yeah same Next time yeah. <laughs> Back injury Or something That'll knock your shit Yeah mm. Mm, Interesting Alright Thank you Alright Pat anything uh, Listen to Pat and Jeff Like sports on iTunes Love that one Mm, coach, nothing. I just don't want it to end, man. Aww. he's a really good guest. I was excited when he, when we got you. Thanks, man. Really good guest. I like when people can support their shit. It's uh, very valuable. My All great right. pleasure. April 11th, Brian Moses opened the comedy show with Steve Byrne. I'm not headlining. He's headlining, obviously. But uh, yeah, April 11th, come out to Vegas. They're opening a new comedy cellar. Oh. Verbalviolence.tv. You can catch everything else. Brian with the, like, real 